This is the inside of my Sprinter van. It has custom glass in the roof. These are Alpine windows from a Land Rover. The only thing is, the original roof beams of the van are kind of spoiling the Atmos, and the glass has to be where it is, so the beams have to be somewhere else. I don't know if moving them is the greatest idea ever, but I'm going to do it anyway. I mean, they're just supporting the roof, right? Stay tuned. These are 17 millimeter holes on 30 millimeter hole centers and yeah 17 seems like an odd number but I started with 15 millimeter holes and cutting with an inside offset and allowing for a cut thickness of 2 millimeters 17 is where I ended up. Are you with me? The plasma cutter, at least the way I have it set up, can't help but lose 2 millimeters to the thickness of the cut. Anyway, I just eyeballed the sizes and 17 millimeters didn't seem like it would take too much meat out of the box section tube. This was an easy job to draw on the Extreme Plasma CNC machine. Too easy. Just draw a circle, size it, and then copy and paste enough times to span the length of tube I'm working with. I definitely need to be doing more complex drawings and cuts with this machine, but the way this job goes, I already have some ideas. On this first run, the test run we'll call it, I left the torch lead in on the outside of the circle. As in, the torch made its initial piercing outside of the desired hole and that left me with little nicks at the bottom of each cut that would definitely be weak points if the tube was going to fatigue and crack. But that was an easy fix.
I got this all wrong. I mean, aside from it not fitting, I've cut the tube on the wrong plane. The holes should be in the front face and not to the sides. And you know, if your holes aren't front and back, you need professional help. Yeah, I know I do. The time had come to bite the bullet and weld everything together. Frankly, at this stage, I was cold enough and impatient enough to just do it. But I had a moment here. While I was gingerly holding all those loose pieces together, trying to keep everything even, one of the uprights fell out. And I paused as I asked myself, should I just chance it and tack the joints in the hope that everything would stay true and the upright would slide back in afterward? I almost did it. I almost managed to beat down my jobs worthy soul. Ha! See this limbo act back and forth under the bar? By this stage, I'd banged my head on it at least a couple of times a day for about 10 straight days in a row. Did you know that 10 minor hissy fits add up to a lot of cursing and a stern talking to oneself? Look closely and you can see some small spacers that I have between the box section and the van body. This new frame is all going to be hidden behind some sort of pretty facade but it needs to be as close to square as I can get it. I mean, for peace of mind, more than anything else, I'm actually toying with the idea of marking the roof topside with no step warnings, a la aeroplane wings.
Okay, still a ways to go. I'm obviously not removing the brace bar until the other side is done and I've added another brace to the second roof rib. That one supports the D-pillar, which in turn supports the sliding door, so it's a daunting one. It's much beefier. Yes, I weighed up all the holes. Just for shits and giggles. Eleven hundred and ninety grams, almost one point two kilos. That's forty two ounces or two point six pounds. Not massive, but that'll offset some lighting, insulation, or interior cladding, and I'll take it. Fun. A short one this time, but I'm trying to make them regular. Thursday eves, fortnightly to be exact. As ever, the price of a coffee gets you behind the scenes content. And to my new patrons, Paul Kelly, Tant Mew, Peter P, Ben Prescott, Casper, Neil Rapley, Cole Sunday, Jay Ruan, David Carson, Adel Homa Uni, David Coleman, Alex Barnett, James Walsh, and Gediminas Kalpokas. Thanks for the support. Messaging is down, so sorry I haven't been in touch. Hit the like button, drop me a line in the comments telling me how much too short this episode is, and subscribe to my channel. All of the above helps in a big way. Till next time, stay stuck in. Yes, even if the freezing fog is nibbling at your nuts. And good luck.